22, 7 and 1 on the year, 276 goals against, and a 903 save percentage. The puck has been dropped, and the game is on as the Oilers take possession at center ice. Tanner Willick will pick it up and bring it across the Oilers blue line on the right side with a shot that goes wide of the net. Back to the point for Brennan Ross, who's looking to tie a franchise record. He scores! How about that for a start for the Black Falls Bulldogs? Brennan Ross now only one goal away from tying the franchise record for the most goals in a regular season. Brett Wilson will chuck it into the Bulldog zone. To move it quickly to the winger. And Mr. Brown will pick it up off the faceoff win. Back to <laughs> Dimitriatis with a one-timer. Wow. And that's stopped by Green. What a quick passing play that was. That was some great weight. Oh, oh and now go. a turnover, Josh Kaninning from denies. Kaninning has a partial break. Kaninning, shot! And it's blown dead yeah. as it's stopped by Green. Wow. Just look, stayed out. I just saw the uh, the highlights. And, yeah. It was a fun game to watch, that's for sure. Rolling up the left side as he gets a breakaway pass, trying to take it to the net, and he runs right over Wilson Maxfield. Oh, wow. Wilson yeah, that's going to be a penalty here. Up. So Adrian takes him right to the yeah. boards. And in yeah. behind the play, we got some more rough stuff, obviously, in the corner. And the rest of them will come in. Yeah. Ryder Brown will, Rylan Brown will bring it through the middle on the right side. Now for Turner as he enters his own, tries to put it on net, redirection on net, and Maxfield stops up in the corner. Back to McNeil on the point, now on the right for Brown. Brown working this power play on the right side for Tapper with a shot, and that goes up high on Wilson Maxfield, another redirection that he seems to find and get in front of. Mathis and Mason will skate over his own zone, left wing side, into the Oilers zone now as he stops up at the hash marks. Back to Patterson, now on the right for Ross. He's got room with the shot off the shoulder. Dimitriadis, and they're gonna load everybody up on that left side. Dimitriadis wins it, Ross takes oh, a shot. Oh. They're just getting yeah. in front of those passing lanes. Yeah, he's, he's got a terrific uh Terrific skating ability. And, and Thank it out to center ice for number 18, Thomas Matt. On the right for Hotcher as he brings it in behind the net. Here's Brennan Hotcher back to the point. Shot got tipped on net. They score. I think it was tipped in front by Matty yeah. for Paul as he tries to play it down low. But Tanner Wilk will steal that and get ahead for Ross. Here's Ross on the right side. To Jolly, in the middle, he scores! Great goal. Jaden Jolly finds the back of the net and regains the Bulldogs' lead right after the Oilers tie it. Maxfield into the left wing corner of his own zone for Johnson. Head for McIntosh, cross ice feed. Goes to an open wing. Hunter Brown will skate onto it. He'll find McIntosh on the right side. He's got some room. McIntosh stops rebound and another stop. Oh. But now they finally score. Hunter Brown. Hunter Brown gives the Bulldogs a two goal lead after a couple big saves by Green. He takes the monkey off the back and the Bulldogs lead 3-1. And yeah, McIntosh goes in and, and goes from forehand to backhand. It looked like he tried to kind of push it through underneath. Jolly through the middle for Dolan. Nice stop pass there for Brennan Ross. He's got room on the right side with the shot just goes wide. That was close, but yeah. now it's a two on one the other way. Silverberg on the left for Gorley with a shot stopped by Maxfield. Oh, good, good save by Wilson Maxfield. Or two a team. Shot goes on net. Maxfield gets a stop and we'll get a whistle. Yeah, well, an early whistle. I don't think Maxfield had possession. Yeah, of that puck, I, so yeah. Bulldogs kind of got away with one yeah. there. And that gets stopped by the Oilers. And now maybe a partial breakaway the other way. Here's Gorley all alone by himself. Puts a shot on net and Maxfield comes up big there. Now back to Adrian in the left wing corner before he gets ahead for Dolan. Through the middle for Brennan Ross with speed. Ross leaves it for Jolly with the shot that goes just over the glove corner of the net. And he's Way deep in the zone. He's like, ah, I better pull out here. Oilers will bring it right back in, however. Roland with a shot off the toe. Pad save. Maxfield keeps it out. Hunter Brown clears it to the boards. Hansen just muscles it out to center ice for Sam Hawk. Picks it up from there. Here's Sam Hawk trying to get past the D, Whoa. and he almost did. And it's broken up by number 10, Brennan Hotcher, as he tries to shot. That's steered away by Maxfield. Another shot put towards the net. Here's uh, McGuire, McNeil, sorry, in front, trying to get it from now centering pass, the backhand, they score. score. Yeah. 
That was going on for a while. Bulldogs with a couple chances to clear the puck and just weren't able to do it. And then eventually, Wilson gets a pass from behind the net, comes in. For the Bulldogs, down on the right for Hunter Brown. Back to Patterson at the point. With the shot, traffic in front, rebound. They score! There we go. Dakota McIntosh buries the loose puck in front and restores the two-goal lead for the Black Falls Bulldogs. And again, the good power play there. They get the shot away, and they get, they get it through. And uh, Christian Green makes a good save, but that, that rebound kind of gets out to the side. Taffer back to Gorley with a shot and blockered away there by Maxfield. Sam Huck takes it in behind the net. Now Gorley trying to wrap around in front. It goes, and it goes off a stick and into the corner. Gets his stick checked, and Mathis and Mason will pick it up. Three, on, three two. on two coming the other way for the Black Falls Bulldogs. Ryan Newman stops up into Cody Wilk in the slot. Has room, shot blockered away. Right side, Wilson now entering the zone. Gets it ahead for Tapper, takes it to the net, blockered away by Maxfield. Sits loosely in front for a moment before it comes back to the point. Tapper staying hungry on that puck, trying to play it back for Wilson in the slot. Tries the shot, that gets blocked. Huck now tries the shot. That's stopped by Maxfield as he sprawls across the crease to get in front of that. And uh, that keeps it a 4-2 lead for now. Brown on left side for Turner with a shot. He scores! Yeah. yeah what a one-timer from Kay Turner. Yeah, the faceoff was lost. And they go D to D, and, and Turner doesn't stop it. He's on the he's on the offside, so he's able to shoot it off the fly. Let's it go with some speed on the right side, trying to get past Johnson. Johnson tangles him up, and then he gets ran right over there by Jaden Jolly. You know, such a close game. Just take both guys. Sam Huck though off the draw, tries a shot, gloved away. Maxfield gets over for the rebound. Maxfield's down and out though as he got ran over. So Brown on the top point on the right for Huck with a one timer and that gets blocked and goes the other way. Brown now with a shot and that's off the post. Yeah, with deflected in front. Leaves it there for Huxley. Huxley on the left for Turner. Turner on the right now for Brown. Now left side, Silverberg gets a weak shot away as his stick snaps in half and Maxfield still came over to make the save. Yeah. Puck goes in deep, Johnson. Pins it up against the boards. Two seconds. Will that do it? That will do it. Yeah. The Black Falls Bulldogs hold on and end the five-game losing skid over the Okotoks Oilers. Following a very exciting win last night against the Okotoks Oilers, the Black Falls Bulldogs will quickly look to rebound yet again as they welcome the Sherwood Park Crusaders for this afternoon's game at 2 o'clock. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Welcome to the Eagle Builder Centre. I'm Kale Clark as we get you set for this tilt. And welcoming he, me here is uh, in this pregame show is James Johnson. And James, you're fitting in quite nicely, I would say, for the Black Falls Bulldogs. Uh, what's uh, been standing out for you so far? Uh, it's been great so far, you know, all the coaches, the players, they've all been super welcoming and uh, it's all been with me just trying to find a role, you know, whether it's on the PK, kind of shutting down the top lines, just been trying to fit in and do whatever I can to help the team win. Now let's quickly take a look at last night's game against the Okotoks Oilers and defensively, you know, how you shut their heart, you know, their very tough offense down. Uh, is, is there anything that maybe you'd like to change going into today's game as well? And uh, what were some things that you did well yesterday and what are some things you'd like to change today? Yeah, for sure. Like, I um, thought my stick on puck was pretty good yesterday and as a team, I think we could get our turnovers down a little bit. Way too many times it felt like we were giving them way too much speed and transition, so just got to make sure that pucks get deep, and if we play our game, I like our odds. Absolutely. Sheriff Park Crusaders, uh, you know, they're a tough team. Second place in the division, and uh, they always seem to like to turn up the ice quite quickly. They did that last uh, week against you guys. So, you know, is there something to be said for how to defend them a little differently and knowing that what you know from even last weekend? Yeah, on the defensive side, us as a decor, we got to make sure that our gap is extremely good. Like, can't let their top guys kind of generate speed. That's when it becomes a lot harder. So just got to work harder to get up the ice. And when we are in the ozone, we got to keep it going and just not feed their transition. Fun question for you, putting you on the spot. But any fun St. Patrick's Day uh, festivities that you've ever done in your past lifetime? 
Uh, nothing too much. No, I went to a buddy's condo last year, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> no traditions for this guy. Well, there you have it. Uh, the Black Falls Bulldogs will look to make it two straight wins this weekend in a much big anticipated weekend here at the Eagle Builder Center as they welcome the Sherwood Park Crusaders this afternoon for the St. Patrick's Day hockey game. If you're at the game, we're looking forward to seeing you as Chex will have your public address announcements next. It's the Crusaders taking on the Bulldogs next. Enjoy the game.